I think it's started recording now. Okay. All there right, you go. Fine. All right. My name is Anthony Danino. I'm a sales rep with 84 Lumber. How are you doing this afternoon, Mr. Cunningham? Doing fine. Uh, nice to see you again, Mr. Danino. I know. It's been a hectic couple weeks with uh, COVID-19 wreaking havoc, but yeah, you're hanging absolutely. in there? I'm just glad we can at least get this going with the use of Skype. You know, it's good. Uh, let's get, at least get some work done, right? Totally. No, I 100% agree with you. Um so I guess for today's meeting, I was just going to ask a few more questions, um, get a feel for what A4 Lumber and us, we could do for you as a business and how we could satisfy needs that are being satisfied. Does that all sound good? Absolutely. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. So I guess first off, um, could you just tell me a little, about, about, uh, a little bit about your construction operation? Uh, so we're a smaller construction operation. Uh, we do mostly, uh, you know, building houses, working a lot with uh, lumber, it's, uh, hence why we want to get in contact with you. We have about 20 guys on our job site, uh, usually at most times. Um, but that's pretty much it. A lot of uh, house projects. Uh, sometimes uh, we'll do, you know, smaller projects for like inside, like uh, doing sidings and stuff like that or paneling. Uh, that's mostly uh, what, what 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 we do here. Sounds good. Um, so, who's your current com uh, lumber supplier? Uh, we just use Home Depot. Uh, pick up most of our lumber from there, uh, and that's about it. Home Depot. And then, what would be your biggest complaint with them so far? Biggest complaint with uh, the lumber they're giving us. It's usually just low quality lumber. We'll get warped boards sometimes uh, curved planks and stuff like that, or just uh, boards uh, with knots in them, uh, as, as well as timeliness. Uh, you know, the, sometimes they're lacking in time on their shipments. And uh, when we do have problems, they don't really help rectify the situation. Okay. And I'm guessing this can be a strain on your business, but in what ways specifically would it hurt? Mostly time. Uh, time is the biggest uh, issue now. Uh, because not only is it setting us back when, we, when we are doing our projects, uh, not only are we having to spend more time and pay our workers more uh, because we have to put more hours into the job site, um, but then our customers are not happy that we're coming in uh, past our quote. Right, obviously. Um, and then you kind of answered this a little bit earlier, but they don't really do anything for you as a company whenever they make mistakes. Right. Um, yes. Uh, they'll just send us another shipment, but usually this will take another day, maybe two. Uh, and then when we do, it's still the same low quality lumber consisting of the same amount of warped boards or curved planks. And, uh, it, it, overall it's, we're just, we're, we're throwing money down the drain with, uh, with this problem and wasting our time and our customer's time. And it's just, a, it's, it's a big issue we have now. Definitely. Um, so I'm guessing things that they could do better would just be better quality and then more timeliness. Absolutely. Yeah. Higher quality lumber is, is, is a huge concern because a lot of times, you know, we are building people's homes and people want to make sure that the house that they're living in is built not only to our, or their standard or our standard and their standard and, and it's just safe. Uh, you know, we don't want to build a home for someone and then all of a sudden they have to have, uh, hundreds and maybe even thousands of dollars of, of rework put into their house years down the line. Definitely. As well as, you know, structural damage and structural st stability. So Definitely. Um, so what would your role personally be in the decision-making process when making orders or choosing who you're going to get your lumber from? Um, this falls mo uh, mostly under my jurisdiction. Uh, a lot of times I'm the one in charge, you know, uh, on the phone or uh, trying to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, in the meantime, uh, while we're waiting for uh, the extra material to come in, uh, I, obviously I have people who do uh, work under me that help me out with this, but at the end of the day, this is my decision. Uh, I'm in, in charge here, and that's why I'm the one in the meeting with you today, Mr. Dino. Awesome. Yep. Um, so what do you hear, uh, if anything, from your clients about your lumber? Like, if they see it, will they say something to you if it's not looking, I guess, in tip-top shape? Um, it's not so much that the clients notice, it's, th it's my employees will notice when uh, we're putting things together. And as well as we do our own, you know, kind of screening process before uh, we use our, uh, use the material uh, that we're given. And as well as it, when, when we do hear things from customers, it's mostly just why are we not able to move in uh, the date that you said right. we were going to be able to move in. 
some time. Yeah, playing on uh, all the mishaps. And then, you know, it's not only is it bad uh, for that customer, but then for down the line, you know, we're losing potential business because word of mouth spreads, you know, Yelp reviews, uh, all these online platforms that uh, rate and review businesses. So awesome. Um, so what qualities would you like to see in an ideal supplier aside from lumber to quality and then um, timeliness? Was there anything else or were those pretty much the two big ones? Those are the two big points that we're struggling with now. Uh, we would love to really have those taken care of. All right. Yeah. And then are there any other obstacles hindering your business at this moment or is it really just the supply issue? Just the supply <laughs> issue. So how would you say that these mistakes affect your relationships with your customers? Probably not very positively, and they ultimately get upset with lead times. Right, yeah, exactly. And then, like, like I was saying, you know, not only uh, do they not refer us to friends, but then they also will write scathing reviews about us on Yelp or on our website. And so it just, it's, it's a huge issue for us uh, trying to maintain uh, customers, especially now in the market, you know. Uh, with this COVID-19, we don't know when we're going to be back to work. And when we do eventually get back to work, we don't want to have ample reviews, uh, uh -huh. with bad, ample bad reviews on our, on our websites and Yelp and things like that. Definitely. Um, and then what dollar value, if any, would you throw on this if you could like make a rough estimate just on the loss of, I guess, customers potentially? I mean, you can't, you know, because you never know how many customers you are losing. Uh, when it comes down to these th things like this, um, you know, it, it's just it, it, it could be potentially it could be potentially hundreds of dollars or maybe even millions of dollars uh, for our business. But it, it's an issue that I, I'm sick and tired of having to try and deal deal with. Uh, but uh, I, I do. It's really something I want to get taken care of as soon as possible. All right, definitely. And then, how valuable would be? Um, would it be to your company to have these trucks and this lumber quality good and then the timing be on time so that you can keep schedule? I mean, what we're losing hours, uh, we're losing days uh, in production when, it, when we have to work with Home Depot and, and we are getting sent uh, low quality lumber or, you know, they're, they're late with their shipments. So, I mean, you almost can't put a dollar amount on that either. You know, it's... Uh, it's, it's, just, it's, a, it's a mess. It's something I don't want to have to be dealing with. Save me time and stress, you know. All right, definitely. Well, after reviewing, I mean, you're obviously losing money kind of like right through the fingers with a time on um, paying workers to have to go back constantly mm -hmm. because of either inadequate lumber shipments or just poor quality as well as uh, the potential of loss of customers. And here at 84 Lumber, we maintain the highest quality of lumber in our storage facilities that are state of the art to make sure that you're constantly getting proper lumber. You're not having to go over on waste. I mean, 10% for waste is kind of the industry standard, but if we can drop that down to 5% or maybe just under 10%, anything so that you're not having to go back. And then also we're always on time. And unlike Home Depot, where you currently said they don't do anything for you, if there ever was a time error that we made where shipment didn't come out fast enough, we definitely make um, make sure that we get you product either delivered by us or extra lumber for future projects to rectify the situation in air. So I feel like we could do a lot for you guys and would love to be um, your new supplier. Would you want to meet again to talk about this, I guess, over Skype? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, definitely would love to uh, set up a follow-up meeting uh, sometime. That'd be great. Um, Solid. Um, well, I'm free. Uh, we can do a week from now, next Friday, uh, maybe around noonish if that works. Absolutely. It sounds fantastic to me. Thanks so much, Mr. Danino. Really All right, no problem. You. Give me a All call. Right. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Mr. Cunningham. No problem. Thank you so much. Yep.